Lonely Attack on the Different World, Web Novel, Chapter 78. Everyone should eat more fish. You are so quick to anger because you lack calcium. Day 32, The Faraway Labyrinth, 54th Floor. The Third Battle. We are still getting stalled by the werewolves on this floor, but we reduced their numbers quite a bit. With only 20 enemies remaining, we should be able to get through. Onwards to where Haruka-kun is waiting. Let's stop here for today. I don't think anything would happen, but just in case, let's build a base here. I... And we finally managed to defeat them, finally wiped out all the werewolves on this floor. Folks on food duty, assemble! I'm going to put out the meat... Folks on food duty, assemble! I'm going to pull out the meat, so hurry and cut the vegetables. I'm done here, pass me the veggies! It's meat, meat, a meaty meat meat! No one seemed to be seriously injured, though we had many lightly wounded people. We are already roasting HP mushrooms, so it shouldn't be a problem. We are hungry and tired! This time we made a great number of maneuvers, breaking through the pack of werewolves, splitting and hitting them from the sides, and then annihilating the encircled enemies. So it is only natural that everyone would be tired after running around so much, but even so, we still managed to defeat all of them. Finally, at last, we will be able to move forward. The tents seem to have already been set up, so we first feed and send the boys to rest, as they seem to be the most exhausted. Anyway, it's time for a meal. We finally made it to the 55th floor. The wolves took so long. In fact, we spent two whole days on this floor. New enemies are going to be even stronger, but we have no choice but to press forward. No matter how much time it might take, Haruka-kun is fighting with the monsters of the lower floors all alone, trying to get to the surface, so we have to go. Shimasaki-san and the others already went over level 90. The speed of their leveling is way above everyone else, which means that Haruka-kun is still fighting, all alone, trying to get to the surface. Before sleep, we hold a meeting. In name only, in fact, it's another girls-only gathering. The cows were Spike Buffalo, level 55, right? A herd of them. A whole pack of rampaging, spiky cattle. The 55th floor doesn't have a boss, so we can just attack it, as usual, exterminating enemies one by one. Hmm. Won't there be a huge panic with us getting split up again? Yes, that's how it went during our first fight with the werewolves, which forced us into a purely defensive position preventing us from making a timely response. How about we first take a defensive formation and then disperse them? Eh? Won't we get surrounded? As soon as we stop moving, we will end up fighting another defensive battle. But those cows seem so fast. A defensive formation will end up being a perfect target for their stampede. No way! Yes, monsters of the next floor were also moving in packs. Rather than fighting them as a group, I would prefer to reduce their numbers by fighting freely. But splitting up is also dangerous. That aside, it's already one month since we came to this world, but it's probably only half a month since we started fighting. Everyone grew accustomed to combat and began to understand strategy. By the way, the boys, who barely say a thing during our meetings, act with a perfect understanding of tactics when battle starts. But during the planning phase, they do nothing. Otakun's group is good at reading the flow of battle, so they are incredible at intercepting and countering enemies. But during discussions, they just blend with the air. Kakizaki-kun's idiot's brigade is very versatile and capable of adapting to any situation, properly coordinating with others while seemingly doing as they please. But during discussions, they're useless. Boys, what do you think? What do you mean? Meet them if they come? Kill them one by one if they don't? Just deal with the enemies depending on how they act? What happens, happens. Their ability to plan ahead. Both groups have quick wits and adaptability, but they are leaving the lot to chance. The girls, on the contrary, crumple when the plan isn't working, since many of them had defensive hit-and-run or backline builds. This makes it hard to build a plan, and it happens every time. This time I want to go for an echelon formation, so we can sidestep the enemy while reducing their numbers. Think we can do it? Do we have enough people? There are more than 80 of them. Won't they just break through? Yes, when the last of the herd goes past us, we follow after them, and rotate the formation while half-encircling them keeping the echelon formation intact, and then sidestep when they come again. Matador? Yep, Matador tactic. Gradually wear the enemy down without meeting their charge head on. But in that case, we will be too stretched for a proper defensive formation. But what about the rear guard? Won't all that running around render the rear ineffective? Things got a bit too bloodthirsty to call it a girl gathering. But even so, it is the best way for us, the girls, to build a strategy. Meanwhile, the boys couldn't wait for us to finish faster. Haruka-kun risked his life to save the lives of everyone present here, so I will do the same, and protect every single one of them. There is no point to this unless we can all make it out of here alive and well. 
Otherwise, everyone would have already charged at the enemies. This is still only the 54th floor. Harakakun is way further down. He is fighting under much harsher conditions, with way more fierce enemies as he cut his way to the surface. In fact, if a pack of level 80 or 90 enemies jumped at us right now, we would be instantly annihilated. Yet he keeps fighting, on even lower levels, all alone. To be honest, I want to rush to his side right away, but I'm still way too weak. I won't make it. So we just have to press on, to welcome him back, at least one floor earlier, altogether. <laughs>